Thank you so much. So my other three and I come home like the last few days. They're like, "Is today the day?" Oh, he's, no, he's here. Yeah. I watch my other male's face every time we walk That's in the door, hilarious. and and Leo comes in with me. Yep. He's like, "I thought today was the day." Wow. How can we not? Well, well thank, thank you. No, so much thank you so much, David. Yeah. Thank they you. just they get a nice break from the shelter coming up here each day. You know. He's been at pack now for two months, and usually a dog like this by then would start showing some significant signs of deterioration behaviorally. And honestly, coming up here four days a week helps to keep them on a more even keel so they get such a break from from being over there in that craziness. Yeah, he's with the, the, the worry lines, and yeah, he yeah. Don't look so worried. So everybody's like, oh, he's a pit bull. I'm like, well, yeah, he's got pity in him, but there's right. definitely something else in there. Yeah. You know? exactly. yeah, and I'm inclined to think the shark pay because of the, because of the lines, yeah, the wrinkles. This is such a nice setup that you guys have. Every time I think you come in, because for the reason you said, it's nice that they get a break. Yeah, well, and, you know, the other thing, too, is, like, I just had a couple here. They took a dog home to foster last weekend, and they decided to adopt it. So they came in and did a paperwork with me. And I was the adoption coordinator at PAC before I left and, and ended up here. And that process is so chaotic and stressful mm -hmm. because everything is busy, you're busy, busy, busy. Right. Now. And here, what I like about here is that I have the time to do appropriate counseling and and then everything at the end with the paperwork isn't rushed and right. crazy like it is there. So, and there are times where I will tell people, no, I'm like, this is not the right dog for you. Like when Leo was first coming, because he has been, he did come into the shelter on Christmas last year. Um, so the first couple of months that he was coming up here before he went into foster, um, there were people that came in. He's manic about his toys. So not appropriate for somebody with small children. Just not. I don't think that he's necessarily, I don't think that there's a lot of potential there for aggression, but more of a kid's going to get accidentally bit because they're going to be reaching for a toy at the same time that he sees it and goes for it. And that's how it's going to happen. And he's going to be put down for something that exactly. wasn't aggression. And so, so, so yeah, so I, I told people, no, one one family got upset and actually called the, um, got in touch with the staff out of the act. And they said, well, he doesn't have those restrictions here if you want to come and adopt. And so the husband actually came back up here to yell at And I said, well, as I informed you when you were here, you could go to the shelter and you could adopt him. My rules, this is my store, and my rules for these dogs are no. And I told him, I said, and I'm just going to let you know that if you really help end up adopting him, I'll be taking him home. So that's how that's going to end. And who knew that that statement would become so prophetic? He's now been in my house since the beginning of July. He's probably not going anywhere. He's better off. Yeah. He was terrible in the shelter. He had declined to a point where um, he was going to end up on that short list. So, so yeah. you're a foster pet. Not so yet. So we're officially <laughs> still packed, oh, but yes. <laughs> we know they that. want we the paperwork. They just changed his, his um, allergy meds. He has just like so many pities. He's got severe yeah. skin allergies. Yeah. And he chews himself till he's bleeding. And so he was doing the Cytopoint injections, which were great, but they only lasted about two and a half to three weeks. I told him, I said, I don't make that kind of money. I can't afford to get two of those a month. Um, so we now have him, we tried him on some new allergy meds and 
to get on top of the issues, the vet had him taking them twice a day and all of a sudden he developed significant diarrhea. So that's why he's been up here all week. I'm not going home and deal with it. He's been fine here. I dropped right. him, when I made the connection, that's probably what it was, dropped him down to once a day instead of twice and it's only been like less than a day. So, but I told him, I said, until we're on top of this, I, mean, yeah. I know I can swing what right. his treatments right. are gonna be. Yeah. I've never had a dog that's had to be on anything significant like he does. Yeah. So it's been a learning yeah. experience. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, a, it's an adventure, isn't it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. It sure is, but it's a good adventure. It is. Well, it absolutely it is. is. Well, happy holidays. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much for letting us. No, I, we appreciate you coming in, and, and thanks for your donation. That helps us to keep doing what we do. Of course. All right. We'll Take see care. you guys next time. Thanks. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying. Brian has the. No, the there's nothing I can do about that. I, I don't know what it is. But yeah. Okay. Okay. So I tried to throw those in the trash, but oh, I didn't okay. do a very good. good job. It's all good. <clears throat> yeah. If I get if I get his attention for a minute out of the <laughs> time I'm in here, I I consider it a win. You know. I know. Well, it's funny because. On Thursday, Brian, um, Brian, you know, of course, he always takes them off the van. And so Brian takes them off the van, and he's all happy and everything. And then Friday, I unload the van because Brian's not here. I unload the van, and he's like, yeah, hi, Bonnie. <laughs> like, he's like, I get the wag and stuff. He's like, yeah, I'm happy to be here. But, you know, you're not Brian. <laughs> like, you could just see it. It's like the yeah. whole different level of enthusiasm. He sees Brian, he's like, oh, my God, it's Brian. And then he sees me, he's like, oh, hi. Okay, all right, it'll do. Hi, hi, party folks are here. Good, thank you. This is Argo. He's currently getting yummy treats. So oh, okay. Enjoying life right now. And loving, too. Okay, so we can get to
His favorite person just left the store for a second, so he's he's bewildered. He doesn't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah, and the the face is uh, and the. Uh, His, his favorite person is out there, so he's he's like bonded or something like that to that to the to, to, there's a volunteer here that he just thinks is the best thing since sliced bread. So He's pretty fixated on that guy.